We're recording live from Oslo. <laughs> Gay pride. I know, and it's interesting. We there are a whole bunch of new acronyms it here, is, not uh, not for us in America. Slowly, it's coming to America. You think so? I think so. But okay. we're celebrating the L G B T Q I A Pride, which stands for lesbian, gay. We know what that is. L yeah, lesbian and gay. Bisexual Bi. and bisexuality is a stable orientation. It does not mean you're sexually greedy. And it doesn't mean you're, you're, you can't make up your mind. No. You can be bisexual, which is, I prefer that one. I do too. Uh, transgender. No, we're regular women. Yeah, but you can be transgender. That's transgender. what it stands for. And that can be transsexual or transgender, pre or post op. You could be living a woman, born a woman, cisgendered as a woman, and be living as a man or vice versa. Yeah, true. Which is interesting. And then I love QIA. So Q stands for queer. Questioning. Oh, I thought it was queer. So you're questioning your orientation. Oh. And I love that. You don't have to have an orientation. I don't think I want one. Right? You know, because you go to a cocktail party and everyone has to know, like, who you have sex with. Are they gay? What is your sexual Are they preference? straight? Intersex means when the baby is born, they have ambiguous genitals. In other words... The clitoris is too big, or the penis is too small, and the physician, the fucking doctor, makes that decision. And they assign gender. Now, I worked with a woman who had a large clitoris. Would I love to have a large clitoris? I could have one hanging down to my knees, and I would be <laughs> fine with that. So they cut off, they minimized it, and they cut too much. So they cut back, and they got all of the nerve. In other words, there wasn't even any of the... And they're doing these surgeries now, and Cornell, there's a physician that does them. So we should keep in mind that this oh. isn't something that's in the past. So it's this that woman that I worked with, it, she started the first organization of intersex. Bless your heart, mm -hmm. wherever you are. And she worked, worked, worked. She worked her butt off, and then she just disappeared. And do you think that's because when you know you fill out a birth certificate... It has to be, is it a boy, is it a girl? And then when you come home, it's like, oh, it's a boy. Like, everyone wants to know, what is it? It's a boy. Why can't it just be, oh, I had a baby? Oh, no, we have to know. You know what I mean? We have and to know gender And then we have to get the blue clothes and the pink clothes, and then we have to decorate the baby's room. And blah, we create blah, our blah. roles and yeah. what they can do and what we encourage them to be when they grow up. And what you should know is that as many children that are born with red hair are born intersex. That's a wonderful analogy. And think of all the people you know that you've met with red hair. Exactly. And all of those people that are living between two genders and how difficult it is in our culture and so, our society to do that. And what happens is that, is that if they change, so if the penis is little, they turn it into a girl, and that child is never happy. They know something's wrong, and the parents and the doctors keep it from them. They don't tell them. What the deal Why can't is. we just let them develop naturally? And when they get to you be know? of age, they can say, Mom, I, I really want to be a boy, so let's make my clitoris bigger. Or it would be a girl. Or you know what? Maybe they don't want to have any gender. Maybe, maybe they should it. just be intersex, and maybe we should just have that on all of our forms, on your DMV when you get your license, male, female, intersex. Maybe that's okay. It could be okay to be intersexed. I mean, when you think about it, we are so obsessed with boy, baby, girl, baby. And that's a recent phenomenon. Throughout cultures, they have had different words and different names for intersex within their cultures. If you look down thousands and thousands of years ago throughout history, an intersex baby would be some. It would be a shaman. Yes, he would be revered and respected. No, not us. We go ape shit. <laughs> and now, then, now all those letters. They left out mine. Well, there's one more, asexual. And I think that it's really oh. great that now we're including asexual people. Some people are asexual. And what if they're self-sexual? Well, then that's the whole thing. They left out S. We have to add an S. So it's L-G-B-T-Q-I-A-S. <laughs> and then we have it all. You know what I mean? And then get rid of all of them, and we're just all of us sexual. And it will change throughout our lifetime. You don't pick one label. We can bounce between the letters. <laughs> I might be I might be bi for a while, then I might be a lesbian for a I'm, while. I'm a B now. I'm bi now, I think. You think bi? 
I go, yeah. I definitely self sexual now. Yes, I'm an and, S. And I'm an S too. I'm self sexual. No, I think you have sex with boys. Yeah, and I have sex with boys. But I don't, if I had to pick my letters out of that group of letters, I would pick B and S because I am self sexual. We're all self sexual. We all should be. Well, we're not all. But, yeah, but that's the point. We need to be. Why? Because that's where it all starts. That's the base. Masturbation is the foundation for all of human, human sexuality. sexuality. And until we get that in place, we're floundering. We're victims. We, we, we are dependent on somebody else. So here we go. Embrace all of them. And let's start with gay pride. Welcome.